Get ready for pop music trivia, featuring Taylor Swift. What was the title of Taylor Swift's first album? Her self-titled debut album in 2006, peaked at number 5 on the Billboard 200, and spent the most weeks on the chart in the 2000s. What is Taylor Swift's middle name? Taylor's middle name was named after her Aunt Allison. What famous rapper interrupted Taylor Swift's speech at the 2009 VMAs? During the show, Kanye West interrupted Taylor Swift's speech for winning the award for Best Female Video, which was You Belong With Me. This spawned the, I'ma let you finish, internet meme. <laughs> Who did Taylor Swift write, We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together About? Jake Gyllenhaal reportedly spent $160,000 to have Taylor flown over on a private jet for a date. He later broke up with her through a text message. In what song does Taylor Swift sing, cause the players gonna play, 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 play? Shake It Off, one favorite song at the 2015 People's Choice Awards, and also received nominations for Song of the Year and Best Pop Solo Performance at the 2015 Grammy Awards. Where did Taylor Swift spend her early years? Before Taylor made it to Nashville, she lived somewhere else, a farm. Not like the kind of farm that the word conjures up for most of us, with thoughts of cows, chickens, and old McDonald, but a Pennsylvania Christmas tree farm is pretty close. <laughs> Taylor Swift met actor Taylor Lautner on the set of what movie? Taylor and Taylor met on the set of Valentine's Day. They dated briefly, and their relationship reportedly inspired the song Back to December. <laughs> Which of Taylor Swift's songs earned her a Guinness World Record for fastest selling digital single? Taylor's 2012 hit, We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together, earned her a Guinness World Record when it climbed to number one on the iTunes singles sales chart, just 50 minutes after it was released. <laughs> Taylor Swift was the spokesperson for what NHL team? Taylor not only served as spokesperson for the National Hockey League's Nashville Predators, but once distracted opposing player Patrick Kane, allowing the Predators to score a goal. <laughs> what was the lead single on Taylor Swift's debut album?
Swift wrote Tim McGraw during her freshman year of high school, knowing that she and her senior boyfriend, Brandon Borrello, would break up at the end of the year when he left for college. How many questions did you get correct? Go ahead and leave us a comment. If you enjoyed this episode, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and hit notifications so you'll never miss another episode of Music Trivia.